Gemini. Two weeks old. I picked that flower two weeks ago. And look at it. Fall flowers? It's all different names, don't they? They're a little stronger than most. She is a beast. That's what I have to say about Gemini. Gemini, a lot stronger than most. You wouldn't believe how strong my sister is. She may look weak. <laughs> she is not. <clears throat> She's a Gemini. <clears throat> Here we go. What's going on for Gemini? Whoa, three cards. Two on my lap. Okay, we got love clock and love call. <coughs> that fell at my feet. Boat was up here. Receiving what you need. Moving on. It's time to move on. I could literally put the boat right on top of the clock. And the clock, need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. And then you've got love and love call on other side unconditional love somebody expresses love a message a message of love thinking of you affection attraction oneness passion like i feel like someone's going to be giving you a call question mark question mark question mark like i feel like that was that and i'm ron burke like, am I right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, give me this love person. Who are they in love with? Well, obviously, they're in love with. Who are you in love with? Let me get. Oh, okay. 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 Whoa. This is definitely Gemini because they all up in the air. Four swords, knight of swords, five of swords on the bottom. So who they are, from the looks of it, what, who you are in love with, who this person is that you want to call, I guess is healing. So what I just heard was like they're newly single. So you might be waiting. You might have been waiting. What? Okay. Like, maybe you've been waiting for somebody to get out of a relationship and heal. Because, you know, you can't just, like, once somebody breaks up with somebody, you can't just, like, call them right away and be like, hey, you're just single. Okay, you gotta, like, give them a little bit of breathing time, let that band-aid come off and heal a little bit. So you might be waiting for this person to heal, for them to say something. Okay, it's, I don't really think you want to say anything. Obviously, obviously you're attracted to this person. They know you're attracted to them. You're friends with this person or you wouldn't be hanging out with this person. And there's unconditional love, which if there's unconditional love, I know that that's more than just something cliche or more than just something on the surface. There's a connection. Um, okay. So tell me about this love call. What's this person's condition right now? They are not looking good. They're hanging out in very dead energy. Oh, that's the Gemini card. You might be waiting for a Gemini to get over they shit. Because they're healing. And they're left for dead. So you're kind of just like, okay, whenever you're out of the hospital, I'll just come visit you all the time. and Because I love you and you have no idea. That is so cute.
<clears throat> I got the world card. So I definitely know that <clears throat> once they're done with their progress, they'll be fine. And it might even go a little bit faster than you think. Because, yes, they're heartbroken, but I think it's more what that person did to them. It's not what they did. I don't think they really did anything. So they just have to come back to life again. Okay? So we've got, this is kind of going to be the steps. So we've got strength in reverse. Okay? They're weak right now. Very weak right now. Okay? Five of swords. They've, they're weak because they released... The stuff that was on behind their back. Clearly they had a cheating spouse or they had some type of one-sided relationship that they had to end. Okay. They didn't necessarily have to be together, but I clearly feel like they are together or were together in order for you to be waiting. Okay. Then the three of swords. Once the betrayal surfaces, they can take all the knives out of their heart and slowly heal. But they can't heal until they know, until they use all their strength to figure out what's been done behind their back. And now I feel like, so I've, I'm watching the end of Sons of Anarchy and somebody finds out that their mother killed their wife, but everybody's lying about it. Nobody will tell them the truth. So this poor guy is going crazy because his kid, his five-year-old kid is the only one that will tell him the truth. And he doesn't know if his kid is just trying to wrap his mind around some sick and twisted shit that's happened. Or if he really heard his grandmother kill his mother. Okay? So you have to understand when somebody does betrayal, that their entire life has to stop until they solve that puzzle. Because that puzzle is fucking with their inner channel. Their inner child, their inner everything that's telling them not to lie. When people lie, they, they fuck with the natural flow of the universe. Okay? This is driving me crazy. Oh, somebody always has to cut the fucking grass while I'm doing a reading. They, and, and cut the energy off, you know, like... Cut the natural flow of energy off. Like when somebody lies, they, they, they have no idea. Like my parents used to do this thing. My parents were pathological liars. They would say something to me, okay, it, out loud, but in their head, they were thinking something else. So here's a child, which is most children have telepathy with their parents because of called in womb, okay? You learn how to open up your mom channels from having in womb pregnancies because you're communicating with your child. So these communication lines are still open. So when you lie in 3D and you're lying in your head, that fucks up your child, that fucks up people who have a natural flow of energy with you. You can't lie in 3D and tell the truth in your head or tell the truth in 3D and lie in your head because those are two different channels. All of a sudden you're flowing down one and then you stop the energy because you lie. The natural flow of the earth does not know what lying is. It was invented by cowards who couldn't tell the truth. So they made up things to try to get themselves out of other things. Do you want to be that person that tries to get yourself out of things? Or do you want to be the person that stands there like this going, really? I haven't lied at all. Do you want to approach me with your bullshit? Because I'm going to hack you in half with my fucking truth in a goddamn second if you approach me again with one of your lies. Okay, so this person was mass manipulated. So when you get into their life, this is why I don't feel like you're a threat because you're unconditional love, which means you're not lying to them. You're not lying in another world where you're trying to make it better. In 3D is the only place that you really need to make things right. We try to make things right in other dimensions because we can't do it here because other people aren't willing to participate with us and move the direction and the energy in a right flow, okay? So, that person, just by me with that, you know, snapping with that lawnmower, like, I don't do that. I don't wait until my energy is ready to snap and then do something about it. Once I'm annoyed, I just go and handle what's annoyed. So this person might be at a point where they're still snapping because they're annoyed at this betrayal. 
they don't know what's been done behind their back. They're, they're, they've been fucked up. So now they have to reprogram. They have to chill out. They have to listen to themselves again. They have to get that liar out of their head that's messing with their frequencies. Okay? And if it's a Gemini, damn right that person has to heal for a bit. Because, you know, Geminis would have that same twin energy where their lines are open. If you lie to them, they're going to know. Because you've told them the truth in another dimension. Because we have to tell the truth everywhere we are. Except 3D. People have managed to manipulate it as a sin. And as a sin, you will be held accountable for it. Whoa, this reading was like really fucking pissed me off. Like, I do not like when people manipulate other people using their minds. I really don't like it. This person's going to hit... A really beautiful love they're gonna hit the part where they finally settle and then that's the time where they're gonna say something if you stay friends with this person and you stay supporting this person because you know how much you love them don't give up now because their road is just beginning but it's a short road and it's a road that they need you because if they're healing you're the only one that they've got in your block like like you have to understand when people are healing it's very hard to keep them in your circle because they're not going to know which ones are bad and which ones are good right now. So just hang out in the good category for as long as you can until this person says something. Which I believe they will. That's it, Gemini. Thanks for watching and I really hope this helped. I'm Moonshine. Have a really awesome weekend. Peace.